In this topic, we are going to discuss a model of individual reaction to re-entry. Uh, we have just discussed a case study in which we talked about how a person, uh, Vane Bolova, was uh, affected by the repatriation process. So that's it. that is only one case. Um, research uh, shows that there are a number of factors and there are a number of elements that emerge uh, as individual reactions uh, uh, when a person is repatriated back to the home country. Now these uh, factors could relate to two aspects and those are uh, number one, the job related factors and secondly are the social factors. Uh, so um, as we discussed in the case study that there were certain job related factors because of which Wayne Bolova was uh, dissatisfied and frustrated and there were also certain social factors regarding housing, his children and his wife that were also creating problem for him in the process of repatriation. So similar kind of stories when collected from various different people uh, and surveys conducted and research has been conducted on this aspect, a model has actually emerged um, that, that uh, talks about various different factors which could be job related factors as well as social factors which could affect the repatriation process and those are the individual reactions to the repatriation process. So let's take a look at this model. Uh, so you can see that uh, there are job related factors as well as social factor that influence repatriate adjustment. Uh, uh, so within the job related factors, there are again certain um, dimensions of these job related factors that affect the repatriation process. Number one is career anxiety. What is career anxiety and how uh, is it created? Career anxiety is the fact that a person is anxious and apprehensive about what will happen to his career when he comes back from the international assignment. Now, uh, the career anxiety is created from a number of aspects. Number one is that there is a loss of visibility and isolation. When you come back after a certain period of time, uh, what happens is that even if the same people are working in the organization, they have forgotten about you, they, act, they, they, they move on. They say that they are the eyes of the eyes, so when you go somewhere, you lose your visibility. And if those people are also coming back, they have forgotten about you, they have forgotten about you, and uh, it is difficult to make them remember that okay you were also a person who they used to work with so it is it kind of creates a loss of visibility and that leads to isolation when you're uh, when people that you used to work with they don't accept you as a friend they don't accept you as a colleague as a part of their social circle that leads to a, a situation of isolation uh, and uh, this is a situation in which you are coming back to people who you already were working with. Uh, it is also possible that you come back and the total scenario has changed. All uh, people are new and you are working with new colleagues. Uh, that would also create to a sense of isolation. Uh, then another uh, reason for career anxiety is no post assignment guarantee. Usually organizations, they do not guarantee that when you come back from the international assignment, you will be guaranteed a position uh, for, your, um, uh, for your job. So if there is no such guarantee, then that would also create career anxiety. And then workplace changes, uh, the workplace could be restructured, it could be moved, it could be, uh, there could be a new boss, there could be so many different kind of changes which would have taken place over a, a period of time that you have spent outside in another location that that could also create career anxiety. So another aspect of then these job related factors is work adjustment. Uh, work adjustment uh, that could relate to the re-entry position. Aapko so uh, repatriation ke baad di jati hai organization mein aapne uske saath adjust karna hai Wo, that is going to be a different position that is going to be in a different uh, context 
you would have a different uh, uh, boss you would have different subordinates you would have different colleagues so adjustment to the new position even if it is a position which is uh, um, uh, in line with your um, uh, with your interests it is in line with your uh, level in the organization even then you have to face the adjustment problem uh, then your employment relationship with your organization uh, that is something which also needs to be readjusted and it could also create a devaluing experience because if you would remember that uh, Wayne Belova was in, in, in the case study he had a central position when he was on the international assignment but when he came back to the uh, headquarters he was devalued because he, uh, uh, because uh, what happens is that um, in the headquarters or in the parent country there are many people who can do the job but when you are sent on the international assignment you are the only one who can do the job so when you come back and you face this situation you actually have this devaluing experience that okay my skill is not that much important as it was important when you were on the international assignment and that uh, leads to coping with the new job and role demands uh, it also could lead to loss of status and pay uh, these are the job related factors which could create problem for the repatriation process and this is something that the organization it needs to uh, take uh, into account it needs to manage these factors that people who are repatriated back they do not feel these kind of job related aspects now the second aspect dimension of uh, repatriation process are the social factors those social factors could be number one the family adjustment uh, when the family has moved to another place and then they have come back they have to be adjusted back to the uh, uh, to to the culture and you would remember we discussed that there is going to be a reverse culture shock for them as well so the family also has to be readjusted then you need to create your social networks once again because if uh, as i have already said when you leave a place you are forgotten and when you come back even if uh, you have friends which were there you need to re uh, uh, define you need to um, uh, you, you need to make the ties once again so you need to develop the social networks and then there could be effect on your partner's career as well so if your partner wants uh, comes back home and wants to work again uh, and such kind of facility or some such kind of opportunity is not available that would also create frustration in the family if the spouse is not able to find the job that he or she wants to work on so this could also be a problem of repatriation process so the organization can be play a very supportive role in um, helping an employee get repatriated back to the home country as they play a significant role in the expatriation process by providing cultural awareness programs and pre-departure trainings the repatriation program should also include some kind of uh, uh, such trainings and such kind of uh, activities which would help a person and his family get adjusted to the home country so this is uh, these are the basically individual reactions to the re-entry issue which could lead to effective or ineffective repatriation process.